So let's talk about it. You think you got it bad right now, huh? I'm gonna keep it a buck. My mom died when I was four years old. Grew up with a mentally abusive stepmom. Got bullied. Lived in fear. Sold crack cocaine. Completely obliterated my credit. Had four kids out of wedlock. Straight up. For a large period of time, my life sucked. And that's exactly where you're at in your life right now. Don't know your situation, don't know your circumstances, but I know your head is down. Right now, you're losing. My life sucked. Right now you feel like your life sucks. But I want you to understand, the word success, the first part of that word is suck. You cannot have success in your life without the suck. So I need you to embrace the suck because that's what I had to do. I was in a bad place and I was in this deep, deep hole and I knew I had to slowly climb my way out of it. It's crazy, his NFL quarterback had a horrible game. Team was losing. During the interview, they said, you guys are playing so bad. He just said, listen to me, one word, relax. R-E-L-A-X, relax. And that's what I'm telling you right now. You're smack dab in the suck of your life. But I promise you, if you change your mindset, you can come back and win. Because that's exactly what I did. I was tough, I had to pray. I had to say a couple of prayers. I had to get on my knees. I remember Denzel Washington said, hey, I hope when you wake up in the morning, you put your shoes way up under the bed. So when you get up, you gotta get on your knees to get them. So sometimes you gotta say that prayer and ask for a little help, ask for a little forgiveness. But please, own the fact that the majority of the situations that have led you down the road, you're responsible for. So I had to own it. First thing you gotta do is own it. Own it, and then you can start the process of changing and slowly climbing out of that hole. We gotta take the stairs. Because there's no elevator once we make all these poor decisions and bad mistakes. That's what I did. Woke up a changed person. Own the fact that I messed up. Instead of looking at having those four kids as an issue, as a problem, as a setback, I took ownership. I brought the kids to live with me. I became a single dad. You smack dab in the middle of your issue right now. Own it and let's start making some different decisions and different choices because the choices that you're making right now are going to affect the next five years, the next 10 years of your life. God willing, you're gonna be here anyway. So why don't you start making a decision right now to make the necessary changes so when those five years pass, you're in a different place. So number one, own it. Number two, you have to believe. You have to believe that there are better days out there for you. You have to believe there's a better situation out there for you. Because we get beat down so bad sometimes that we start believing that's just our plight. Oh, woe is me. No, no, you weren't born to win. You were born to win. You have to believe that you can achieve because you can, I promise you, you can. Number three, you have to be patient. You have to be patient, you have to be patient and consistent. So as you sit down and come up with your plan and you decide what it is you're going to be or what it is you want to do, you have to be patient and you have to take consistent action daily. And finally, you have to execute. You have to execute your game plan. And you have to understand, along the road of execution, there will be failures. You have to respect the failure. If you expect to succeed, you made all the mess. It's time for you to clean it up. Figure out the message in your mess and clean it up. Sometimes you have to boo yourself. I had to boo me. I was like, boo, you messing up. Pick yourself up. Own the fact that you made those choices. Sometimes you just have to remember wherever you're at in life, pat yourself on the back because you got yourself there. Believe, believe you can win. God did not put you on this earth to lose. Be patient and consistent and finally execute your game plan. And that's exactly what I did. And I slowly started climbing myself up out of that hole. And guess what? When I started to do the right things, the universe and God 
started giving me that extra push, that extra boost, that extra favor. It's crazy because I was watching this football game. The team was losing by 20 points with less than two minutes to go. And they kept believing it, they kept fighting. And miraculously, everything fell into place for them to come back and win. You're in a spot right now, if you keep believing, you will get that extra boost, you will get that extra favor, and you will give yourself a chance to come back and win in your life. But it all starts with you, and it all starts right now. You got this. You keep fighting, and you never quit, and you never give up. You keep serving. And I promise you, the day will come when you find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. Keep fighting, keep swinging, because guess what? This is a great day to win. Let's go.